is so freaking weird. Now I can't refresh the page. I'm telling you, I'm going to lose my mind. Well, this just... I could, I just got it on my iPad and my phone. Really? Yes, dear. But I can't refresh my page to bring up that we're live. I swear I hate this thing. Um. I swear to God, I can't. I'm gonna lose it. No, you know what? You got probably um, that 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 came up. What in the hell? Under no, that? I had to close it out. There's no. Do you see a refresh button here? It was in my. Now, there it is. Now there it is. It wasn't there. I'm telling you. Well, you're scared. I'm it telling you. Back. I'm going to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Carol Bond. Hello, ladies. Long time no see. <laughs> I got to turn off the uh, sound. sound turned off. Someday this will work correctly. All right, I'm going on. It's one minute too, so uh, not that I, I really, I don't know why. Oh. Hello. I don't know why I'm standing here today. I have nothing, nothing to say except, did you love the beautiful day after the five days of rain? You can't wait to go out because it's absolutely beautiful out and we haven't seen the sun and a nice temperature besides, so... It's like a pleasure. Um, I'm Debbie from Patchworks in Salem, New York, Long Island. Um, I really, I have no, no things. We've told you about the block of the month, so I'm not going to bring them up again until we actually start doing them. Probably next month we'll, we'll have the, uh, hopefully have the uh, Bijou from Blank in because um, we're supposed to get the sample. So hopefully next time, not next Facebook, but next month, we will have that hanging on the wall. Um, other than that, nothing. Um, I do want to tell everybody, because we, we announced that at Tuesday Club, we are moving Tuesday Club to Thursday. We don't know what it's going to be called. Um, so maybe we should do like a contest. Write in, write in or email us. Select you know uh, names of what you think Old Tuesday to New Thursday should be called, what we'll title it, and whoever wins will get a $25 gift certificate. Oh, well, there you go. Um, because we are like brain dead. We cannot think of a name for it. So um, I think that's a good idea. We'll do that. So either email or call the store or whatever. We'll put your name down and we'll put your suggestion down and we'll see which one wins. That should be fun. See, I did have something to talk about. Um, that's it. I'm going to let Marie do her thing in our three-ring circus here because it seems like... I got to tell you, people, if you did... Hopefully everybody got the email about the fabric. We have probably gone through 30 bolts of fabric already. Uh I mean, it's crazy. So if you're interested in um, the sale fabric at $6 a yard, which you cannot beat, you better get here quick tomorrow because we're going to close. The doors are closed now. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's been insane this morning. And I, like I said, I got like 30, bu 30 bolts to uh, dump in my dumpster tonight. So <coughs> um, that's it. That's all I have to say. So I'll let Marie do her thing. Okay. Enjoy the day. Okay. Hello, everyone. How are you? Thanks for coming in to join us again. And yes, long time no see, Carol. How are <laughs> you doing? Um, I am Marie. That is Debbie. We are here at Patchworks in Sable, New York, on the lovely south shore of Long Island. Uh, and yes, we are having beautiful weather today. I guess we were getting the, whip, the rain and the thunderstorms and the just clouds and everything from the other side of that horrible hurricane that smacked uh, Florida and parts of what, South Carolina, and I hope everyone were, were, is doing well there. I, I 
the job that they have to clean up is just, I can't even I can't imagine. Even imagine. can't imagine. But um, anyway, we have a nice day today, which is great. Uh, there's a few things. We have a kind of a collection of stuff to show you here. A little this, a little that. Um, but before I get started, I just have, if you are new, I just want to let you know, of course, if you have been with us before, thanks for taking the time to see us again. Um, if you are new, I just want to let you know that uh, we are not a common sold store. What uh, we do is post a document on our Facebook page. Um, usually it's right underneath this video, but today because we were doing dueling posting, because we are getting things up on there, it ended up on top of the video. So uh, just to show you on my phone, if you go to our Facebook page, here we are, and then you just scroll here. All right, so here's the video, and this time usually the link is underneath there, but this time it's right on top. Okay, it says, Hello October. Of course, as Debbie said, we can't come up with anything like new lately, so just one with the obvious. So here's the post, and here this link right there will send you to a document that says, Hello October. Um, at the top of the form, we ask you for your information, your name, your address, or if we're delivering, your email, you know, some way to get in touch with you. Um, it also asks if you have any comments or questions, and then we, it goes through everything that I'm going to show you. Oh, wow. At the bottom, there's a little green button that says submit. You click that. You probably have to prove that human. And once you do that, let's see if I passed it and you click verify, then it's going to tell you you didn't fill it out right, but that's because I didn't fill it out. We will get it on our end. Once we get it, uh, once, once we get your order, we will uh, put it together, and when it is ready, we will give you a call. If you're picking it up in the store, you just come on in and pay for it then. If we are delivering it, we'll give you a call. We will have uh, your total. We charge a $9 flat rate shipping. Uh, otherwise, it is um, uh, if you spend 125 or more, we will pick up the shipping. Uh, when we call you when your order is ready, we will verify your shipping address. We will get your payment information at that time. Uh, don't put any on that order form. We don't like to keep it laying around here. Um, and then we will get it shipped out to you. Um, we do send everything through the post office, so um, that is how it goes. Uh, and we do send it, uh, what's it called, priority, so we can track it. So um, that is, that's all the nitty gritty housekeeping stuff. So, okay, let's see, let's get started here. We have a couple, I can move the sign now. I always forget to put this on. Oh, okay, so we have a couple of things to show you. Uh, where to start, where to start? Um, what should I start with? You don't care. <laughs> okay, so how about this? Last time, two times before, showed you the um, Mom and Me aprons. Mom and Me aprons. They're very cute. We have the pattern. It's $10. And it makes these cute little aprons. And um, th this is one. This is the um, toddler, toddler size apron. Very cute. Showed you this last time. Made a matching one in the adult size. And we had Tuesday Club the other day. And I was we were just talking. I said, you know, I'm really I'm looking for something for a little boy. Because this, you know, it's kind of like for little girls and everything. And Ruth, shout out to Ruth, in one of our sessions, said, well, I just leave this part off. And I'm like, well, yeah, because it's only top stitched down. It's not structural or anything. And and it's a nice little it's so apron. Cute. Oh, this, this is adorable. Yeah, that so this, this is the toddler size. So um, Brainwave, it was like, oh, right, leave that off. So uh, I just want to show you what I did was we have these really nice plaids, just trying to make something for a boy so this is the child size so I just made this out of one of these nice plaids that we have the, and um, it just works great just left this this with nothing on it and then as I'm working on it I'm like wow you know it doesn't matter who you're making this for this is a great place to put in embroidery if you want to put in embroidery whether it's a baking thing or, or something for a little boy something for a little girl so this is um I have this on the order form again, the uh, pattern. This is the Mom and Me aprons. And again, all you got to do is you just leave that little triangle top off because it's just, um, it's just an add-on. It has nothing to do with the structure. And then you can make this little, you know, these cute little aprons for anyone. 
they really, they're kind of reversible. I mean, the one side doesn't have the pocket. Completely done on the sewing machine, no hand sewing involved. What I did do this time was I cut the strap for the neck in half. Because it's it's like this is no problem. And that's a toddler, right? Yeah. The, no, this this is the child size. I'm saying, and you put it on, and it's way big on. It's, it's way big. On yeah, the yeah. So yeah. And yeah, it fits great. Yeah, this is the child size. This is the toddler size. Um, but this would be so cute. And we have um, from Kimberbell. What's it called? Jingle and whisk. Jingle and whisk. Uh, Jingle all the way and. Jingle whisk all the way and. Something. We whisk you a merry Christmas. Yes. Yes. Uh, the We Whisk You a Merry Christmas is all baking motifs, if you were, you know, thinking of doing that for like a little Christmas gift or making Christmas cookies with uh, kids. It would be adorable. So, anyway, so we have this. We have these really nice plaids. Um, just, just another way of looking at it. And again, Ruth, thank you. Sometimes you need someone else to open the lid to the box and look inside and say, hey, there's a different way of doing it. So, I really appreciate that. Then the other thing, we had this whole discussion about how I hate straps around my neck. So we found this other apron pattern. It's by Mary Malari Designs. It's called Criss Cross Apron Pattern right here. And again, it's all completely done on the sewing machine. If you look on the back, you can see that it just slips on over your head. The strips, uh, straps cross in the back and it's actually reversible. Um, this is it. Now, what we did was, um, so here it is. And it just, Debbie, you want to try it on? No. No. Okay. It goes on, you just slip it over your head like this, put your arms in like this. You can adjust it to all different sizes and everything. What I did was, can they see this? Yeah, it's really okay. cute. Okay. The pattern calls for, has these patch pockets on the side. Oh, you can see it more in the line drawing. Well, we didn't like them. We always find we, we didn't like them. We had to change it. So we just made this simple little pocket on the bottom mm. like this. And it was really simple. This is reversible. This is one of our pretty autumn fabrics. And then, let's see if I can get it off without killing myself. There we go. And then on the other side, this is what I like. I did this one. This is our Santa's. Santa's. Our cocktail hour Santa, see, in another pocket on this side. So it's really, you can make it smaller, bigger, shorter. You can adjust the straps when you're putting it together. So it's really, it's nice. It's nice. And um, so this is the pattern. It's $10, crisscross apron pattern. Lorraine, this one has your name on it. <laughs> she put dibs on it. Um, and it just, it, it takes like, a, it's, a, it's a yard each of the two fabrics. I also used another, oh, it wasn't even a fat quarter for the pockets. It was like, um, I wrote it down so I could tell everyone. Yes, I know, that's, that's it. The it bottoms so aren't sewn together. <laughs> it looks um, like that, you know, the dresses that they use the Dresses, the yeah, yeah, on the can-can thing. <laughs> the, um, it, it, was, it was like, uh, um, I want to say... A fat eighth. I mean, like a quarter yard will give you the pocket. Oh, yeah. And th this is a feature of this. She actually has it written down in the pattern that they don't sew the bottom clothes so that if you're out there gathering eggs, you can put it in your apron and hold them like this. So, anyway, I thought this was cute. It is cute. It is cute. Okay. And now I can take it off. So, because it got warm in here. All right. So, that's our big apron thing. And I love this fabric. Okay. All right. Uh, what else? So uh, we got in another collection of fabric. Um, this time it's another, it's a little interim collection from Kimberbell Designs because it's not the uh, the one a lot of people are like oohing and on over, whatever. What was that one called again? Um, vintage Floral? Something like, floral. That's, that's not that's, coming until like February or something. Not like February. This is called Pretty Petals, and it's in all these pretty... Let me move these guys out of the way. I don't know how well you can see it. It's yeah, all these pretty kind of sherbet colors here, and it's just these cute little ditzy flowers. This, actually, this print they actually picked up, they had a couple of this print in the uh, Red, White, and Bloom collection, and now they colored them to be like just pretty soft sherbety colors and all together they're really really nice so 
um, on the order form, there is a link that you can click to go to another form that has all these fabrics on it, if you're interested. Uh, or, you know, you can come into the store and pet them, because they're very pretty. It's just a lot of pretty, soft, sherbety colors here. All right, so that's um, Pretty Petals. It's from Maywood Studio. It's designed by Kimberbell. Okay, so that's that. Um, I, I did write down. I want to make sure I don't forget anything. Oh, you know what I wanted to say about the aprons? The one thing I've noticed in a couple of classes that we've been doing, when we have curves that we need to, to ease, when, when you sew a curved seam, you have to clip into it. You have to, like, V out some of the fabric in there so that when you turn it, the fabric stretches around the curve but also reduces the bulk and everything. And what I've been telling people is pinking shears. Use pinking shears. Um, and then they all say the same thing. I have these pinking shears from my mother or my grandmother. I can't open them. They're really hard to do. And it's like, I understand. They, they do, for whatever reason, kind of freeze up. On the order form, these are Fisker's pinking shears. They're 10-inch they're pinking shears. They work just fine. Um, it's worth getting yourself a pair of these to have in your sewing rep armory. Um, these are $35.99. These are just regular basic pinking shears. They work great. Um, it's really, it's worth the investment. I also have in the order form, uh, their soft grip pinking shears. Those are a little more money. They're $43.59. They're, um, the handles are cushiony and they like have more of a spring to them sewing. And uh, they're only eight inches. What's the matter? Is it doing something? Everybody's face is as dumb as Oh, they. okay. So um, it's really, it's because on these, um, on this apron, on this apron here, there's this whole big curved seam. Well, you really got to pink that seam allowance so that it lays nice and smooth. And it's just a lot easier to do it with the pinking shear than to sit there with your scissors doing little clips and everything. So that is definitely worth it. Also, on these aprons, on both of them, when you're turning them right side out, and we tell people this all the time, the expert point and press tool from OESD. It's $15.99. It has two different size ends to it. It's weighted. Um, this is actually the first version, so the barrel is a cylinder. The new version has ridges on it so that it doesn't roll. You're not chasing it across your table. Um, this is really worth it. If you don't have it, this is just nice to have when you're turning things right side out. You can get into the corners really nice and easy. You don't want to use a chopstick or scissors or a pencil. Um, also, this slightly bigger one, when you're turning something right side out and you're trying to push the seam out, this bigger ball, it really helps push it out when you're ironing so that you get a seam that lays nice and flat. They're just, they're good tools to have. Uh, so that, I wanted to let everyone know about that. Okay. I'm making a mess again. All right. So, okay. Machine embroidery. All right. Janine Babich did it again. It's actually coming. Um, it was supposed to be a pre-order and it came in. Well, we get the embroideries from her to do it. It's called Friends and Family Gather Here. It's beautiful. It's her newest embroidery. And as usual, her embroidery is perfect. This is uh, the multi-formatted CD. It's $16. We have a couple coming in next week. This week. Well, they'll be tomorrow, so they'll be in the store on Saturday. Saturday, okay. So this is, it's just one of those really, really pretty wall hangings. So we, Debbie did it. This is the way the um, CD tells you to do it. But And, and the it, directions for lining things up are infallible. Right. It's amazing. Right. You were saying this is the one where you're actually lining it up here? There and there. See where the tip hits the here? Right here? Right there. And then right there. Right there. Yep. And, and look, it, it's perfect. It sits perfect. It's, it's perfect. It's amazing. She's a, she's a genius. So Debbie did it on this, but look at this. Oh. <laughs> look at it on, this is a garden flag from OESD. These are blanks that you can buy. It's absolutely beautiful on the black. Really gorgeous. Um, this is, let's see, so the CD $16. The garden flags from OESD come two to a package. 
and they are twenty dollars two to a pack they come in a cream they come in a black but we just think the black is really stunning on this absolutely beautiful and also we have had this from scissor tail stitches some of you guys might have this this is called pumpkin kisses by shannon roberts i think she's kind of known for doing like the chalkboard kind of designs mm -hmm. So it's a multi-formatted CD. It's $39.99. I don't know. I don't know why they show it on the black background because it's very hard it's to hard see. It's hard to see on, on this, right? Yeah. So you get tons of gorgeous designs. You need a, at least an 8 by 12 hoop or larger. The Janine Babbage says a 6 by 10 hoop on her okay. CD. Yes. 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 But this one, the, the pumpkin kisses, you need at least an 8 by 12 hoop. And just to show you... This is one of the designs. The, the OESD garden flags are two-sided. So you can do a design on one side, and here's your design on the other side. And look at how beautiful that is. Is it framed in there? Okay. So it really looks okay. nice. So this is, this is another one. This, it's just absolutely stunning. So a garden flag. And then we also just, we had two other designs that we had stitched out. This is the lighter color, the linen garden flag. This is also from the Pumpkin Kisses, just I so you can see it. I love the blue truck. <laughs> What's that? I love the blue, blue truck. Blue truck. Yeah. But I, I just think on the black, they stand out so beautifully. So Pumpkin Kisses, the Janine Babbage are on the order form. Also on the order form is the garden, is a garden steak. So comes like this. And it is $12.99, thank you. So it's a garden steak. I, it's screwed together here and here. It, you know, it's nice and sturdy. I don't have it screwed in all the way because I want to be able to unscrew it to put this back. Um, it also comes with a little clip here that can hold on to your flag so that it doesn't flap all over. It holds it in place. Uh, and this is, you know, that would just be a really nice way to hang this. Like that. So the garden steak is on there. Okay. All right. And the other thing, I just want to, again, when, when you're doing your embroidery, preparing your background is so important. I was looking on, anyone go on Janine Babbage's Facebook page, and sometimes people, they do these gorgeous embroideries and then kind of wrinkled. And they can't figure out why. And they so can't why figure out why. So you need to prepare your fabric. You need to iron your fabric first. You need to use Tyrion Magic. This is this is a super, super starch. Uh, I probably sound like a broken record talking about it. But you do both sides. You spray both sides of your background with this, right? One side. You spray and one side. And then I iron on the other side. Iron so I don't on the get other the side. little flakes. Okay, so you don't, you know, this comes with a little nozzle. You don't want to use a nozzle. You want to use a, a misting bottle. Uh, you iron Sometimes it I spray it twice, though, because I, yeah. I, my fabric stands up by itself. It I does. Spray. You really spray it. You really make it stiff. Yeah. And then on the back side, you put your um, shirt, tailor. shirt tailor, which is a non-woven fusible interfacing. I know I hear a lot of people talking about the other one, which is woven. We just don't recommend it because it shrinks. It's woven. It shrinks unless you pre-shrink it which is what I used to do before we found shirt tailor and said, oh, wait, this doesn't shrink. So, you know, one, one less thing that, that you have to do. Um, so you really, you want the material magic. You want to use the um, shirt tailor on the back. And then another thing that we have, this is new from OESD. You've heard of hooping mats. Should have brought the open one. Take it out. Take it out. Uh, this is called, this is a grippy grid. It's a silicone hooping mat. It's 17 and a half inches by 25 inches with a one inch grid. And the whole idea behind this it is. It does not move when you put it, it down. It doesn't. It just stays it flat. I don't know how to open this. It's a weird. It's a weird yeah. opening thing. It's one of those, you know, like one of those intelligence tests. I'm not going to pass. <laughs> Um, it really sticks. What it does, if you're trying to hoop something that's kind of big or slippery, you can center it. it. You can really center it. Of course, you got the sticking in here. 
It's real. I'm telling you, but it doesn't move. When you put okay. it onto a table, it doesn't move. It's amazing. Okay, here we go. Oh. It really does. It does. I'm telling you, it doesn't okay. move. Wow. You know what this reminds me of? I like, and I like the black with the white because you can really see. You can really see. So if you put the outside hoop in the center, you know what I mean? Like you center that in your outside. Mm -hmm. And then you take your in, your inner hoop, I guess you call it, and put, the, you know, where it has the lines where you center. And you put it, it's sent, everything is centered perfectly when you go to put it in the thing. So when you go to put it in your machine and the needle goes to the center, it's dead on. It's right there. Yeah. It's right there. This is um, the hoop that... Hoop mat is $29.99. I should know these things. Oh, Grippy Grid. $29.99. You know what this looks like? Looks like Batman's cape. Yeah, it's <laughs> real. I'm telling you, but when you put it down on a table, it doesn't move. It's amazing. Yeah. So you know the, what it's really good for, too, is the um, um, the hoops that, um, what do you call them? Magnetic hoops. Oh, the magnetic oh, hoops. Oh, yes. It's very good for the magnetic hoops. Oh, so when you're doing that edge-to-edge uh, -edge quilting. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, move. Good it's amazing. So this is also this is also on the order form. It's called Grippy Grid. You want? Yeah, I'll, I'll roll it up. And roll it. It. Okay. It's, it's such a weird like, feeling, yeah, but it doesn't like, move. Wow. <laughs> Here's the container. Thank you. Sure. So that is that's also available, um, yeah. and that's an OESD. Um, okay. So going on with the hoop embroidery. We did another Kimberbell Christmas pillow. This is Merry Christmas, y'all, and to y'all, good night. Uh, it's along the lines, it's the 22 inch square uh, embroidered pillow from Kimberbell, and it's really cute. And I'm not into cowboy stuff, but I just thought this was adorable. I know it's hard to get back in there, right? It's sticky. Yeah. Uh, it, it's really, really adorable. This is all done on the embroidery machine. Let me. It's really get, cute. Yeah, let's get So here we go. This is the little lasso. And again, I glued this down because... <laughs> because we can. Because I can. So um, we're offering a kit. The kit is $33. The kit has all the fabrics, the notions. It uses leather. It uses some of the uh, velveteen. The it has this... Look, see this hand there? The glitter. The glitter. The curly beard. Yes, look, check this out. This is all glitter. Um, this this thing I, I this was a white, and I tea dyed it. I don't know how well it came out. I just thought white was too white. Do you you do you think it should have been white? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I thought it needed to look like you know it's a lasso. It's supposed to be white. Um, it has yeah the gold leather, the black leather. This very very cute. His little hank uh, kerchief is dimensional. So we have a kit for this. Now the embroidery for this is available on Kimberbell's website on their digital download. So if you go to our website, if you go to our website, and here it is, here's the home is where the haunt is, and you click on here, you can order it, or it's on our order form for this Facebook. Uh, or if you click here, right here, you'll go to... Um, directly to the page where you can purchase and download the embroideries, the, yeah, the pattern, the embroideries and everything for Merry Christmas, y'all, okay? Um, it does, there is a sewing version of this, so you kind of want to be careful that you don't get the sewing version. This is under digital downloads. Um, well, if they use that thing, it'll go yeah, right if, to the right place. Yeah, if you place. click on this, you go right to where you need to be. Right. Okay, so that is, um, that's that. And then we do have, a couple of weeks ago, I showed you the, um, this is Home is Where the Haunt is. And we're going to do the red, white, and blue one, too. We downloaded that, right? Yes, yeah, the one, Liberty, yeah. whatever. Yeah, that's right. We got to do that. I don't know last time if I showed you this little mummy. Isn't that cute? So we also have a kit for this that has all of this, the fabric, the notions, the glitter, the velour, everything for it. Um, it also includes some of the fabric to make these yo-yos instead of the pull flowers. Um, of course, you know. I thought it was better. Okay. All right. So, okay. It's no question so far, right? No. Nope. Now, the other thing, when I was doing these, um, I was using 
This is Hoop Easy Embroidery Batting. This uh, from the Gypsy Quilter. It's it's very similar to Battleizer, which we have. From this Hoop Sisters. What's that? From Hoop Sisters. From Hoop Sisters. Yes. This is um, this is my roll. That's why it's open. Um, it comes in. I have it down the order form in a ten inch by ten yards or twelve inch width by ten yards. Um, these embroideries, most of them fit in the 5x7, a couple have to go in the 8x8 hoop. I'm, I'm talking about Janome size, so um, this, this batting works just fine. It's got, a, it's, um, got like a, a scrim or a base in it or something like that that stabilizes. So I did use this, I did hoop this, and then the background fabrics and everything I did put the shirt tail on and the material magic on top so this is on the order form it is let me see um I just gotta find it here the oh here we go this 10 inch by 10 yards is 29.99 you, you get a lot out of it the 12 inch by 10 yards is $35.99. I guess the size you would get would depend on what size hoop you're gonna be using and everything. But this is really, it's very handy, very convenient. You just slice off the pieces that you need and um, it works really great. Uh, so we have that. We also have Kimberbell's Light Mesh Cutaway Embroidery Stabilizer. It's $20.99, 12 yards by 10 yards. Uh, Debbie's using it uh, for a couple of things that she's making right now, and she really likes it. So this is a, a mesh cutaway. Um, did you remember what, what you used this on? No. No, okay. <laughs> um, I can't remember what I started using. Somebody called for it, and it's nicer than the regular cutaway because it doesn't make it as stiff. Oh, I know. Kimberbell says to use it in their um, new cuties. Oh, the new cutie. Right, because okay. I use regular okay. cutaway on that, and it makes it very stiff. Okay. And I just used it on this new thing that we'll show next week. Okay. Two weeks from now. Yeah, two weeks from now. Yeah. Sorry. All right. So that's in the oil farm. And then also, we do have heavyweight tearaway from OESD. Uh, we have it in a 10-inch wide by something, 10 yards, for $18.99. And then we also have the uh, heavyweight tearaway in... 15 inches by 10 yards for $22.99. So it's nice and heavy. It's a tear away, but it's nice and heavy. Um, okay, so no questions so far, right? right. So we have what? I'm just laughing at myself. I don't know. Facebook came out with these new things. When I go to reply to people, I can put like little um, animated things on them, and they're adorable. I don't okay, know where they you're came playing from. all the fun. So everybody that says hi gets an animated little thing. It's a riot. It's okay. All right, we have some new reading pillows. No, we keep on going. Um, well, people give suggestions too for things. So yes, that's nice. we we really like suggestions because we can use all the help we can get. This is a new one. This is a new reading pillow. It says, "Right meow" is a perfect time to read a book. Tell me, I want to get it in there. So cute. It's yeah. cute. Yeah, it's good. So again, the reading pillow kits, um, they're pillows with pockets on them, and the kits include the fabric for the top, the back, the embroidery, the pocket, and the binding. In this case, the binding's the same as this. This is your pocket. This is your main. That's the embroidery. Has the directions in there. Uh, the only other thing you would need to complete it would be like a fat quarter of fleece and um, muslin. Right, poop bed. And then your pillow, of course. And and your pillow, right? They they're made to fit a 16 inch pillow. Uh, so this one is very cute, and it's like kitty cat themed fabric. Then we have this one, which Kathy, you already made. <laughs> this is Kathy. all you need is love and cupcakes and books. Okay, and we have this with our baking fabric. This is the main. Here's your pocket, your uh, binding, contrast trim, and you get the embroidery. Okay, and then we have these two. This is a Minnie and Mickey Mouse theme. So it says, between the pages of book is the most magical place to be. And we have it with Minnie, and we have it with Mickey. 
And again, this is your pocket, your contrast, and your mane. Um, yes. I, 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 I was going like to say something, but it left. It ran out in the street and probably yeah, got run over. Got run okay. Over uh, <laughs> so we have like the mini or the puddles. Mickey. Probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. A parking lot? Yeah. Um, and again, the, the kits are twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, you just need that extra little bit of fleece and um, red poop fabric, muslin <laughs> to finish it. I cannot get that she out of my head. It, she calls it, you know, I thought you called it ant poop. Call it rat poop. No, Joanne, we don't, we're not doing the um, exclusives with Kimberbell this year. Oh, the deal exclusives. No, we, we passed on that. Uh, okay, so those are our three new reading pillows. And, you know, it's getting near that time of year where these things get really popular for Christmas presents. They're great Christmas presents. They really are a one-day project. So, um, something to think about for the little kitties. And then, what was I just going to do? I'm telling you, I'm like totally losing my train of thought. Okay. So, those are the reading pillows. Oh. The two new tools. Oh, the, the, yeah. This, the is, this is just, you know, let me show it here. Uh, Debbie found these during one of her midnight scrolls on the internet. Um, they're from Creative Grid. They're called, they seem to be, an, we haven't seen them before, so we don't know if they're totally new, if they're just trying these out, because uh, we haven't seen them. It's called Basic Range, and they are rulers without that extra half inch in there, which I know some people have just never really liked. Also, more important. Look at, yes, more importantly, <laughs> look how big these numbers are. I can read going from around. <laughs> it, and it's only one set of numbers. And look at the lines. There's no little quarter or <laughs> eighth no, inches know, going through. Really nice. It is like, wow. <laughs> it's great. very plain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have found them so far in the six by twelve, a six inch square and a six by twenty-four. We will keep an eye out to see if they're gonna do more. We don't know if this is just like a a trial run with I don't these know, or what? I love it because I can read them without yeah. wearing glasses. Because we didn't, we, I mean, we didn't get any emails or anything advertising these things or anything like that. So these are very nice and they're just like, you know, as Debbie said, we can read these numbers. So these are on the order form. Um, the prices run like, uh, let's see, the prices are. The six inch square is twenty forty nine. The, the six by twelve is twenty three ninety nine. The six by twenty four is thirty two ninety nine. So there's the, actually, and I, I'm a ruler person, so I, I kind of like those. You know, when you don't have that, I like the half inch. I really do. But that that's nice and easily readable. So, all right. Okay. There's other notions here that we just got in that are really cool and I wanted to show you guys how well they work. Okay, one of them, one of them, this is a mat scrubber, mat cleaning pad they call it. It's from the Gypsy Coulter, it's $8.99 and it really does work. It's a little silicone thing here it has a little place in it where you can put your hands like that, okay? And you just rub it. If you have a, um, if you have, I don't know how well it's going to work for me holding this. If you have a um, mat that has threads or fleece and that kind of thing I'm stuck cutting, in yeah. it, you can just rub it. Is the sound bothering you? Yes, but it's okay. It's like chalk <laughs> on the back. You know, it's like when you do the nails on the blackboard. You just rub it. It just scrubs it right off. It's not a lot. There's well, we don't have much on yeah, there. Yeah, I don't have one on there because we were playing with it the other day. It just scrubs all the like the fleece, like you know, batting out of your mat, the threads out of your mat. Not gonna get rid of any grooves that have been cut over the years into your mat. That's that's when you need to get a new mat. But it will clean a lot of that debris off. And once you're done, just I just took it over in the sink and rinsed it right off, and everything came off. This is this is very handy. This is again, it's the. Um, Matte cleaning pad from the Gypsy Quilter. It's eight ninety nine. Very clever. Works well, and it's purple. How much better can it get? And then, I think a lot of things are purple from Gypsy Quilter. Yeah, the purple's kind of like the, yeah. their thing. 
Um, okay, and we waited. How long were we waiting like, for these almost things? Almost three months, I think. Oh my gosh. This is a wool mat cleaning tool. We finally got it in. And it really, really works. So that again, this is, uh, it's only $8.99. This is what it looks like. It has these little ridgy things on here. And you just roll it over your mat. And it picks up all it's the cat hair. Up stuff. Is it? <laughs> picks up all the cat hair that's deposited on there. Yeah, all the threads. It. Is it? No, I can see. Look, it's all oh, coming here. Look, it's all coming off. Doing, yeah, okay. it's all the uh, threads. Oh yeah, look at the, that. It's a fabulous tool, oh. and let me tell you, I did it on the chairs. Ah, look at this. Check it out. I know. I did it on the chairs. It's really, yeah, that's right. We did it on the chairs yeah. in the classroom. Um, I would suspect you could do it on, uh, like clothing and stuff. Well, look at that. Yeah, it really. I'm telling you, it takes the crap off of it. It does. It does. So this is the mat cleaning tool and wool mat cleaning tool and we are really glad to finally get it. This is like hair. Ew. <laughs> Where did that come from? I got so, it. We haven't used that since um, no, we're back from COVID. No, I haven't used this in a while. Okay, I could get a little addicted. Okay. But anyway, so th this is on the order form too. These are, these are great. $8.99. It's like, it's a really good price. It's okay. good for, um, um, Christmas presents that you have to buy your friend, you know, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, like little, yeah. Your little things, because usually people Santa do like 10 or, or $15 limits. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the price the price is pretty good. Yeah, the good price on. is perfect, actually. Um, Anything under $10 lately is a good deal. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. That's true. All right, so I think... I think, I think, I think. Does anyone have any questions? Nope. All right, so again, um, we are expecting... We're going to be doing the Bijou Wonder Black of the Month from Blank Quilting. And we should be getting that quilt in the store in for you all to see. Um, if there is a limited number of kits, and I don't remember how many we decided to do. Uh, but you can, you'll can you be able to come in and take a look. It's a more modern looking one. And I would say confident beginner mm -hmm. on that one. Uh, we are going to be doing the Nancy Halverson, um, cal I'm calling it calendar quilt. I forget what it's called. It's like Sweet Hollow Yes, Al something? Allison, the, the um, sale fabric is um, always $6. It's just that we added like 60 bolts to the yes. sale fabric. So yes. yes, you can come in tomorrow or Saturday. Yes. Um, the earlier the better, because like I said, we went through about 30 bolts today. So We went through quite a bit. People amazing. were buying piles like this. Because oh, it's great because they buy like three, four, five, six yards, so they have yeah. it for backings. People buying for backings, yeah. uh, you know, it's just, uh, or we buy for backings, buy for borders, buy, you know, something like that. Um, yeah. Uh, the Nancy Halverson uh, quilt, it's, it's a, it's a monthly quilt. So there's a January, February, March, April block. The blocks are applique and the piecing. And the outside border is pieced with block. And it's just the cutest cool. thing. It's yeah, really, it really, it's really is nice. very cute. More involved. Definitely more involved. I would say intermediate and up. And then we're going to be doing a mystery quilt or two next year uh, from Deb's Cats and Quilts. They're always fun. They're, they're three fabric quilts. Uh, you, you come in, you sign up for the program, you buy your fabric, you get a clue. Uh, we will decide every other week, whatever we're going to do with it. Um, and you won't really know what the quilt's going to look like until you get your last, last clue. It's, it's fun. Um, we're also going to be doing, starting in the new year, um, a, on a Saturday, we're going to have a... Uh, uh, class for anyone who's doing any of the block of the month. So if you just want to come in and sit and sew, if you have a question about the block that you're doing or anything like that. Uh, so that will be available too if anyone's a little hesitant. Uh, so that's coming up and we'll be posting November classes soon. I can't believe we're talking about November, but we are. Uh, so I think um, I'm sure there's something that I would have forgotten that it'll come to me <laughs> when we're done. So again, thank you all. Don't forget the order form for this is right above the video on the post page. And if you have any questions, you can always email us at comments at patchworks.com. You can also come in the store tomorrow to buy some sale fabric and look <laughs> at everything that we have here. All right, thanks a lot guys. Have a great day, bye.
like 10 different ones. I got so, I don't know where they came, but see, you can see people signing off because it, it gets less and less, see? Okay.